so I've just got back and my failed attempt at crossing the um, stones on my back resulted in this and welcome back to a new video so today's video we're going to be having a look at the total eclipse so I did have a bit of a look on the, the websites, the news, things like that. So it's a mixture of times. So the best way I could find out is at 7, 7.17 and 7.18pm local time in Blackpool, Lancashire. So it's about quarter past. So I'm going to have a quick look and see if uh, we do actually see the eclipse in Blackpool. So I'm just heading down a little bit more towards the beach. I thought that would probably be the best place to see it. Because um, it's all open and things. Um, so like I said, I'm a bit confused really with the times and things. And as you can see, um, it's really overcast and cloudy. But um, you can sort of barely see the sun as well. So I'm hoping we can catch something. Um, whether we do or not, I don't know. But I thought it's it's worth um, it's worth popping out and just having a look. I know um, years ago, um, when I was in Torquay, we did have an eclipse during the day, and it was a total eclipse, and it lasted for about a minute and a half, and it was really eerie. Um, all the birds and everything was tweeting away. So obviously, they thought it was like it's night time instantly, and which could be quite dangerous for birds, you know, when they're flying and, and it's pitch black, because obviously the, the roost and that at night. Um, I'll just show you, it's actually dead along the, the front here. I'll just show you right around the camera. So it looks like we've got the whole stretch to ourselves. Look at that. So it's completely eerie as well at this time. So there's not a soul in sight. And the, uh, the tide is out. Look at that, and the sea looks really calm. So it looks, uh, look at that, you can just hear the tram going back past in the distance, but yeah, so we're, hopefully, uh, my phone's on charge, so I'm not sure exactly what time it is, so I'm just hoping um, we do find something, so uh, I'm just going to sort of hang around and walk around a little bit around here and just see if anything, uh, if anything does occur, so I'm just, uh, Heading the way down here, I'll just show you these stairs. I mean, the, there's, there's quite a few sets um, which lead down to the, uh, the beaches where we're going to go, but there's actually a lot of algae, um, so it can be quite dangerous if you if you slip. See that big, large puddle in front of me there, so I don't end up in uh, don't end up in there. So I'm just uh, minding my step, and I've got one hand holding the brolly. I don't know why I've got a brolly because it's not even raining. I just thought I'd bring it because it was spitting a little bit. So this is a bit of a, a balancing action. You see the, the algae there. So I'm going to uh, attempt. So if this camera goes all over the place uh, into that water, then you know this film won't be going out. Um, but yeah, so we're doing all right at the moment. So I'll keep going, pull. And we're nearly there. And bang, we're on the beach. So, as you can see, the beach is uh, is deserted, absolutely deserted. You see the seedles um, just over there. So I'm hoping, I mean, it, it is about 7.17. So I'd have thought even if the sun was, um, even if the sun wasn't out, we'd still get some sort of like black cover or something for a, a minute or two so whether I'm just making this completely up and we do need to see the Sun align um, to get the Eclipse I'm not sure but it's worth giving it a go um, yeah so if uh, obviously we don't get anything I probably won't put this video out because it's a complete waste of time you probably bore everyone to uh, an oblivion so where's the Sun so the Sun would be directly in front so I'm actually heading towards the Sun I believe yeah I believe it was a, this direction so uh, there's a couple little rocks there so I might just perch myself on, on one of those and if anybody's looking down from above 
And I think, what is that nutter doing? Just perched on a rock by himself. So yeah. But if all works out well and there is an eclipse, then happy days. We've got the second eclipse, what I've witnessed if it is, in my lifetime. So I'm gonna perch on there. And I don't really want to be hanging around for 40 minutes. Um, and just sort of whittling away. So if he does obviously edit this this video down a little bit. But fingers crossed for everybody. I know a lot of people have uh, witnessed it. So they're the, uh, the lucky ones. I know where uh, Stephen walk on the wild side. He went over to Dallas and uh, he went to the South Fork Ranch. So whoever remembers Dallas. Um, well, I don't really want to I'm not really going to sit on there because there's water all around there. Oh, oh, I think I can find a little rock over there. So yeah, he's gone to the South Fork Dallas, uh, the ranch. Uh, and I believe you can have tours and things like that around there. So it brings back memories. J.O. Ewing, Bobby, Sue Ellen, and um, Pam. All the, uh, not, I know it was Larry Hagman who played J.O. Ewing. That's the only actor I know. Um, but yeah, so at the moment... We're just going to hang around and uh, see if uh, this solar eclipse does occur. So I've been walking around for uh, about sort of five minutes um, since I last updated you, and everything is exactly the same. So at the moment, um, I'm just walking around. Um, yeah, just walking around uh, the beach in Bisbon. Um, trying to have a glimpse you can see the uh that's like the where we're going to be hopefully see the eclipse over there where the sun will set so i'm hoping we might see something but at the moment um i'll just show you again it's uh nothing is happening um I'm not, i don't really want to walk all the way over there and sort of waste my time and waste your time. So um, I'm going to disappear for a second if, or a couple of minutes. Hopefully, if I do see something, um, I'll grab the camera back around again and uh, we can see it together. So if, if I do put this video up, um, which I probably won't, but if I do, there's a large rock over there. So I'm really having a look at that. And this is probably the highlight of the video. Um, but I want to cross, and as you can see, uh, do you get that as you can see a bit of a joke there but yeah um the sea is like sort of it hasn't gone out in this bit and i'll just show you around i'm a little bit trapped how to get there as you can see it sort of stretches all the way up over there so i'm not going to walk into this for 10 minutes so my route is either get absolutely soaked or there's some little stepping stones and i can try to bounce on that so I thought I'd give it a go, so um, yeah, let's let's give it a go. So it might be a bit of a laugh. I'll show you my shoes when I do get over the other side. So I'm going to try and step on these stones. Um, you see this in, like, in the lakes and everything, where there's little stepping stones and everything. You've got to make your way along. So at the moment, I'm doing okay. Doing okay. So this is the highlight of the video. I do apologise. And actually... Um, Oh, so I'm a little bit trapped here, so I'll go this one, and then a bit of a jump on there. I reckon I've done it. Look at that. And my shoes, I'll show you, they're actually dry. How about that? So, I don't think we're going to get an eclipse, um, and I'll meet you near this rock over here. So, we did walk a little bit further, but an update, and yeah, I still can't get to that rock, which is there. Because I'll show you around again very, very quickly. It's covered in uh, in water. Um, you can see the the tower right in the distance there, and the, actually you can see the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Resort. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to uh, be able to cross. So the highlight of this video, there's two highlights. If you're still, you're probably all gone by now. But if you haven't, there's two highlights of this video. Um, one, I've got to eventually get back those stepping stones, and two. Um, I'll bring you is a crab. There you go. Blackpool crab. 
So uh, I'm afraid that is the highlight of the video and I'd imagine all the views have gone now. Um, so I'm going to head on back. Uh, I do apologise. It is a failed, failed attempt, miserable attempt at um, capturing a solo eclipse. And like I said, there's probably nobody even watching this now. You probably all clicked off it after about two minutes. But yeah, I'll walk back. Um, if I do see anything, I'll obviously whip the camera around. Um, but I do apologise. And if you are still here, sorry for the failed attempt at the uh, solar eclipse in Blackpool 2024. Who doesn't love crunching these? You know, the large little shellfish things. And you've got to do it, you just get it and you crunch it. Listen to this sound. Oh, it's the one of the best sounds. So that's uh, sadly the end of the video and it is a really disappointment um, that no eclipse happened in Blackpool. Um, it is my failed attempt, but um, I will show you what happened. Um, so it might give you a chuckle um, towards the end of the video. <laughs> so yeah sorry for sorry for wasting your time and any disappointment uh i'm gonna head back to the car i'm gonna hang around for another five minutes just in case they did get the times wrong so i'm gonna hang around it's just started to spit a little bit so i'll hang around for another five minutes see if anything happens um if it doesn't i'm heading back to the car and i'll uh, i'll see you guys um in the next video and thank you for all my subscribers all the fantastic and lovely comments you do um you do leave me and i do try to get back to each and every one of you um, so take care and until next time see you soon so i've just got back and my failed attempt at crossing the um, stones on the way back resulted in this lovely so that's what i get for uh, my failed attempt at crossing them uh, pebbles on the way back.